Hi everyone! Hopefully I'm centered enough in the video, um, but welcome. This is not really a podcast episode, it might be a thing in the future, not sure, but um, so as many of you might know, my mother is immigrating to Scotland, which is very exciting, and um, she is going to be coming to stay with me for a little bit, and we're going to get up to lots of crafty things, I'm very excited. Um, before she came, she actually sent me some yarn from South Africa, which she had purchased some of it She purchased on my behalf and some of it she purchased herself And I just wanted to show you that because it just arrived We sent it with my uncle who was visiting because postage between South Africa and the UK is really crazy um, So yeah, I thought I would let you know what I got before I start my projects So the first thing on the top is this beautiful skein and I'll probably try and insert some close-up shots but this is, called, this is called the Lake of Lilies and it's a Wemmick sock which is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon and this is by Lily Rose who is a dyer in, well I'm not sure if she lives in Cape Town but this yarn was bought in Cape Town, she's a South African yarn dyer so I'm very excited to be sharing these South African yarns with you and these are hand dyed yarns um, so yes this is a beautiful uh, sock base that I'm going to be using to make a pair of socks for my mother-in-law and you can see the skein is a little bit wonky because my sister actually unwound it for me because she was going to send it separately um, aside from these but then she just decided to send them all together and the next thing I'll do the other skein that got unwound this one is also Lily Rose and this one is called the Rose Beetle Man is it the Rose Beetle Man? I'm not sure if <laughs> But I got that a little bit funny. I think it's the Rose Beetle Man. Um, and this is for myself. I'm going to be knitting myself a pair of socks out of this. This is also the Wemmick sock base. Um, yeah. So, And if you didn't know that um, merino sheep are also raised in South Africa. So I'm pretty sure this is South African merino yarn. Um, but this was definitely hand dyed in South Africa. And we have... You'll notice there's a theme. There's a lot of sock yarns here. Um, so the next one, this one's also for me, this is the, the Nest of the Missile Thrush um, and it's also Wemmick Sock by Lily Rose, very beautiful. I'm thinking of doing a patterned sock for this one, so like some sort of texture on the sock um, to kind of play up with these lovely speckles um, in this. It's got kind of like a peachy pink and then like a almost beigey colour and then these like bluey black kind of spots through it which look lovely. Then let's go on for this one. This one is Miss Lamotte. Uh, this was also produced in South Africa and this is a hundred percent hand dyed superwash merino and this is a double knit and it's called Izomi. Um, and so this is going to be for my father, we're going to make him, I'm not sure if I'm going to make him a hat or a scarf, maybe some gloves, but I'll, I'll have to ask him what he wants when he gets here. So they're getting here in August, which is pretty soon. Um, so that's for my dad. Then this is for my husband. We're back on the Lily Rose and this is the storm and what came of it. And so this is for my husband and this is a gorgeous kind of blues and a bit of a steel colour in there and then some browns and um, kind of a, this has got quite a bit of a red and kind of burgundy colour in it, it's just oh lovely. So I'm quite excited to knit. These are going to be socks for my husband, um, although I'm not sure, they might be shorty socks because I know he's been quite enjoying the summer socks. He's got quite a lot of uh, long socks for me. Then these two skeins, I'm going to hold them up together because these are both for my mom. These are both also the Wemmick sock but um, this one is Aslan and this one is my cruise in a coracle. Um, so my, I know my mom picked these out together and she had said maybe she'd want a shawl or something but I'm hoping she'll pick socks because <laughs> I really like these and I'd really like to do some sort of again more sort of like patterned textured sock just to go with these lovely sort of like not quite a solid but um, not super stripy or anything. I think these would be lovely um, as a pattern sock so we'll see. I'll see what I can convince her. And then the last bit I've got here 
excuse the crinkling, they're still in the packet. So these are, um, I'm not sure if these are hand dyed. Yes, it is hand dyed. So, okay, this is Eco Fusion, which is a unique bamboo cotton yarn. Um, and it was developed by and hand dyed by nurturing fibers. So this, uh, all of this is South African yarn. And um, let me take it out. Um, so this color is mist. And the other color is fawn. So we've got mist and fawn here. Most of it is mist. Um, and this is 50% bamboo viscose and 50% cotton. And um, this is going to be used to knit. My mom asked me to knit her a um, like a sort of polo neck t-shirt. Um, so that's what she's gone with. So looks really lovely, and I'm very excited to knit these up and see how it comes out as a kind of t-shirt, polo neck t-shirt. But this I will wait until my mom's here because if any of you have knit for someone else it is much easier when that person can be there that you can take measurements and oh, my mom's actually really good at taking her own measurements because she's so she's sewn for herself for a long time and also knit a bit although most of you know my mom's got arthritis now so she can't and she got carpal tunnel syndrome so she can't knit but um yeah so it will be easier with her to actually try it on as i'm knitting particularly for length um because the pattern might say knit it for 35 centimeters or whatever but your kind of under your armpit to your hip might be a different measurement and so it's much nicer if you can actually hold it up against yourself or try it on whatever um and kind of figure out if it's really gonna fit if you really want that garment to fit well it's much better if the person can actually try it on um and is there with you so i'm gonna wait till she's here before i begin these so the first project that i'm going to begin with is going to be the socks for my mother-in-law so these ones um, because this was supposed to be a birthday present and her birthday was in May um, but she knew it wasn't going to happen right away because she lives in South Africa and we live here so she knew it would take a while for Leon to get here but I believe she's going to be visiting us in September so I want to get these socks done before she comes in September so that's definitely the first lot that I'm going to cast on from what I got here so I'm very excited and I hope you enjoyed that little look into the different um, South African yarns that I got and I'll definitely, you'll have seen, but I'll put some bigger pictures in so you can really have a good look at them. Um, yeah, so enjoy the rest of your week and I hope it's super crafty. Bye!